All right, here's an yet another video for you guys. Um, this time, I'm gonna try to do a deer, and I already drew the outline here, and the point of this video is to show you some of those more detailed areas of, of, the, of the deer that I'm gonna help you do it. That includes his fur, includes his nose, how to do his eyes, how to do the horns, inside of his ears, and all those little details. So first, I'm gonna hold this up, just so you can get a pretty good look at the deer itself. It's very clear, very focused. And there's little neat things that I'm going to show you how to do, including a little uh, reflection in his eye, and again, all the little folds in his ear. Um, some of these areas that are a little bit highlighted, uh, just so you're not just coloring in and all the same. And then again, with the with the fur, I'm going to show you how to create that look of actual fur. So first, I'm going to zoom in on what I'm doing here. All right, so. This is my deer head, and it's just the outline. And I'll just do me a little bit more. Okay, now you can kind of see where I'm working. So I'm going to start off doing some of the the darker areas of the deer first. So what I'm going to do is the nose, which pretty much, if you look at the picture, is pretty much all black. And then there's like, if you looked at the, the mouth really carefully, there's this little white spot right here. And then there's like this dark band kind of comes up, kind of wraps around the nose and kind of creates a little, little stripe on in the middle of his nose. So that's just where I'm going to start. So that, because that's, you know, a very dark and noticeable area of the face. And then I'm going to, do this little line here and then I'm just gonna kind of make these little marks down here to make it look like it's hairy down there okay and then there's like another band of white which is like that is the white of his nose so just pay attention carefully to all the little things I'm doing I might not be able to like name them all but now I'm just kind of making these marks for hair And they're really short marks because I don't want to see all the little details. Or I should say, you're not going to see all the little hairs, especially when it goes up to the top of his head because that's, when that's where they are the shortest, actually. And I'm looking at the picture of the deer. And like some of the areas are light, some of the areas are darker. So I kind of did this to where all of the head starts off the same shade and then I'm going to go into each area and shade some areas darker and some that are lighter based on what I'm looking at in the picture. So you can see like that's a good way to start to kind of color in the, the whole head. And then at the top here there's like this dark band. So I'm going to make that darker. Again still using those marks, those little short tick marks. You can call them tick marks because they're just really small like a tick. All right, you guys see how that's working? Leaving the eyes alone for now, not doing anything with the eyes. I want to get the area around the eyes first. Pay no attention to my phone, guys. You can see there's definitely a noticeable difference between this area of the head and this area of the head. Those are the kinds of details I want you to start to see, you know, when you're doing your drawings. You know, not everything is the same shade. It's not just, it's not a coloring book. In fact, there's like a little area here where this is a little bit darker. And then I'm going to just quick make this gray too. And then here, I'm going to do one of the eyes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little white area in his eye but the rest is going to be dark black and that's because a deer's ear uh, excuse me eye 
is gonna be is gonna reflect a little bit of light because it's wet. All wet stuff reflects light back. And again, all these little details that I'm putting in are based on my observation of the deer in the picture. So that's one eye. And I'm gonna go back over here. Do the other eye too. Again, I there's a little bit of a reflection right in the middle of the eye. You can go back in too if some if some of the things are a little bit off you know off shape. You can go in here. Kind of change the shape a little bit. There you go. It's a pretty good start. And then the rest of the fur too is all right in here. So that's a close up of the face. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna pause right now and then I'm gonna start working on another area altogether. So just sit tight.